had a question about camping in this kit. Do you camp in that kit? And I do. This is the setup. Bushcraft Spain oil cloth tarp. Three meters by three meters. You can see with this thing, with the size of this tarp, I don't need a ground cloth, so. It's heavy, six and a half pounds, but it's bomb proof. I've not been able to do any damage to this thing, no matter how many sticks I set it on, rocks I set it on top of, and step on through it. But been through rain, snow, cold, high winds, and it's worth the six and a half pound weight to carry around because it takes up two spaces of things I have to carry. My tarp for cover, something to be over me, and something to be under me. Cover both with this. It's really big enough for two people to get down there on that ground cloth, but when it's cold and there's a fire, whoever's in the back is not gonna get much heat. So that didn't really work great for two people. If it's cold, you need a fire cold. Usually with this blanket, which I didn't even take out today because it's 100 degrees, and this thing is just a pillow in this kind of temperatures. With the blanket though, usually you don't have to have a fire unless it gets really cold. But I do like this setup best, the lean-to, versus the really popular plow point. Because I like to have more access to the fire than you do with the plow point. Just put the fire right in front. Plenty of rooms you can see for the kit. Bow's way down there at the end. The uh, backpack right here in the front. I put the backpack in the back when I'm actually sleeping in it. But just right now for demonstration's sake, I don't I don't um, stake down the ground cloth part. There's really no need for that. I put three stakes in the back. You can either carry stakes or make your own stakes. I've done both. I carry stakes with me just in case it's an emergency, and I have made my own stakes just because it's good to have that skill. This pre-made ridge line here, it's 25 feet of bank line. I tie a loop in the end and leave that in there. That way I can just put it around the tree, stick a toggle in it, go to the other end, trucker's hit so you can make it as, trucker's hitch, so you can make it as tight as possible. These press it loops I leave on here. That way most of the work is already done. I just put this ridge line up, stick the toggles in the loops there, three stakes and it's done. So it's quick to set up. The hardest part for me today was finding a good spot to set it up with all the um, natural barbed wire with cactus and the human barbed wire with actual barbed wire just laying out here in the woods. Fortunately it happens. So uh, still didn't manage to punch any holes in this uh, tarp. I really like this tarp. Bushcraft Spain, I don't know if I already said that. I'll put it in the link in the description. So. This is how I camp with my kit. Plenty of room in there for me. So I think I said you can fit two people in there, but if it's cold and you need the heat from the fire, somebody's not gonna get much heat from the fire. This is my setup, works really good for me. If you have any other questions, let me know and I will answer them if I know the answer to them.